All right, guys. Today I got a review coming for you for the Final Miles Air 58 Ninja. I recently acquired it. Actually, found it on Facebook Marketplace for a really good deal. Um, because the resale value on Final Miles are pretty insane since they're always sold out on the Final Miles website. Um, and I can say this mouse is quality. Like I, I can honestly tell you that this mouse, um, is is really quality um we'll look at it so you can see it looks pretty nice the only complaint i have is with the mouse feet it probably does need some hyper glides like my 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 um g pro slides way better uh, it it slides way better but it does have hyper glides on it but it is a lot lighter than the G Pro, and I, I thought it was gonna be too light, and I thought the wire was gonna bother me, but I just have it on a mouse bungee, and it, it literally doesn't bother me at all. Like, I, I don't even notice it, and it, it uh, I, I thought I was gonna have more complaints about it. One thing is the siding, the, they're the, the holes on the side, when it gets, when you start sweating a little bit, I will say it does start to bother me, but the mouse wheel is actually really, really smooth. Like the feel of it is really, really nice. I like the feel of it. The clicks are are very nice as well. And the side buttons even are actually, they feel pretty nice. There's no side play in them at all. They have a really nice click to them. The, the regular mouse one, mouse two are really nice clicks. Um, and another complaint I have is it comes preset with DPI settings, 400, 800, 16, 1200, 1600, 3200, or something like that. So you can't get really fine DPI adjustments because with my G Pro, I use 600 DPI on it. That's just what I've gotten used to is 600 DPI with it. And that's, that's just what I like. But surprisingly enough... After just using this thing for a short amount of time, I I beat my record for um, target frenzy on the aiming uh, prac aiming train aim trainer I use. So, which does say something at 400 DPI. Um, so there is that. Will I convert to this full time over the G Pro? I I doubt it. Um, I, I doubt I will because just because I do like the G Pro better. The G Pro feels better. It's more comfortable in my hand. I think it fits better in my hand since I do have fairly small hands. Um, my hands are considered small to medium. And the, the Final Mouse is bigger. It has a bigger width and a longer length than the G Pro. Yeah, it has a longer length than the G Pro and a wider width, wider width. But it does feel good. Like it, it is comfortable. It's just not as comfortable as the G Pro Wireless to me. And the G Pro Wireless is wireless. But it is a really nice mouse. I, I thought Final Mouse was gonna be all hype, but it actually is a quality mouse minus the mouse feet. The, the stock mouse feet are not that good on Final Mouse. With a set of hyperglides, I think it would really set this mouse off. Um, but I, I did relit, I did list it on eBay just to, it, cause if I can make a profit off of it, I will, I'll be hundred percent honest. I, I bought it for a hundred dollars on Facebook marketplace from a dude that's actually a Fortnite pro that lives in my area. Um, and he switched to the Zowie Davina, which is a really good mouse too. Um, but you can see the resale value is really high. Two fifty or best offer, two eighty five or best offer, three hundred or best offer, two fifty OBO, three twenty five OBO. I listed it for two hundred because if it sells quick, I'll I'll just sell it. But if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it and I'll just I'll just use them both. Use the final mouse when I'm like really trying to do like sweaty stuff in the G Pro when I'm just like chilling, playing relaxed games because it's more comfortable. Um, for long-term gaming and so we can go ahead and go over um, I'll, I'll do a little mouse test target frenzy 
I'll probably do shit because I'm I'm nervous. Oh, let me <clears throat> open that up one second so you can watch me play with it. I'm not the best aimer, but I have been practicing. Like you can see on here, I'm in the 96th percentile, but still not the best. Um, this is a really good aiming aim trainer. It's, it's called Aiming Dot Pro. It actually is really nice. All right, so it's a minute and 30 seconds. Oh my God, I'm choking. Oh, miss, miss, miss. I hate when I choke. I've never recorded it before. Oh, choked. All right. Well, not terrible. My highest is 222. So not terrible. 212. Um, not terrible. And the reason it says I'm in the 86th percentile is because there's actually a lot of people who cheat on this because there is leaderboards. Oops. Um, Because there is leaderboards. So a lot of people do cheat. Like... Yeah, this guy, he probably cheated. That's the only thing he's ever played. Um, guy, he's probably cheated. That's the only thing he's ever played. Um, yeah, this guy probably cheated. It's the only thing he's ever played. So, well, he's verified, so he probably, he might not have. But, uh, yeah, um, I, I hope this review helped you. Do I think it's worth buying at the resale premium? No. I would not buy this mouse for $250. $200. Brand new, the price for it was $89. Would I buy for $89 brand new? Yes. Would I buy for $100 like I did? Yes, to use. But my intentions of buying it were to resell it 100%. Um, was what my intentions were. I was like, well, I'll test it. And I was like, if it blows me away, I'll keep it. But if it's just like an average mouse, then I'll I'll just sell it. But it is a good mouse. I will say that. It is a good mouse. Is it the best mouse I've ever used? I, I still think the G Pro takes the cake on it. I think the G Pro is that perfect weight for me. I think 80 grams is about that perfect weight for me. This thing's 58 grams. It is light. It does feel good. But it just doesn't have the comfort as the G Pro of the G Pro. So I... I hope it helped you out. Um, still, my number one recommendation would be the G Pro Wireless. Um, even at the price premium of $150, still the G Pro Wireless. But I would recommend the final mouse if you could get it for $100 or more. Maybe even $150, like if you were dead set. The only reason, another reason I don't recommend final mouse at the resale price is because. Their social media page posts some really stupid shit, like saying that they're innovators and they're they're leading the wave and everyone else is copying them and this, that, and the other. And they just got so egotistical on Twitter. Like, yeah, dude, you make a decent mouse, but you're not the best on the market. It's not the best out there. I would say probably FPS Zowie is one of the best like all-arounders for hardcore competitive play that's what probably the majority of the csgo players used or logitech um but yeah 
Um, hope you guys liked it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.